Well, hello, my Capricorn friends. I hope you're doing well. Today's reading is very specific. It is for Capricorn for people who are married but in love with somebody else. So you could be married or in a committed relationship, but you are in love with somebody else either emotionally or actively, physically having an affair with them. I'm going to ask the cards to give us a general reading, a general energy reading about the situation. I'm also going to ask the cards for an outcome. And then we're going to ask for some advice and some timing of what's going on here. So again, this is for Capricorn people who are married or in a committed relationship, but in love with somebody else. This is the reading for you. Uh, we're going to read the general energies around this. And uh, then we're going to read um, a little bit about the outcome and timing for this. So for my Capricorns, oh, we got justice popped out right off the hop. Um, something's happening that isn't fair, that is very one-sided. So this is Capricorn, married Capricorns in love with someone else. General reading, Capricorns. In love, married Capricorns in love with someone else. Outcome and general energy reading, please. Cards are ready. Okay, so this one popped out the justice reversed. There's a, a situation here that is very unfair. Um, and that might have been the catalyst for the extra or for for the um falling in love with someone else three of swords reversed um we could be talking about the end of an affair so maybe your spouse has had an affair and now this is what has been unfair now but you're still in love with the person three of pentacles working together um, but you aren't working together. Reversed, reversed, reversed. Ah, another Eight of Cups reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Something cut like a knife. Okay, I think I'm getting it here. Um, I think there was an affair happening and it was discovered. And now... You have to live with the consequences. You were in love with this person. Um, and uh, here we have three again. You guys were maybe working towards a future together and uh, moving on from your spouses. And then I think either you or they said no and cut it out and stopped it. And... Uh, but now you have to live with the consequences of that. So let's continue reading. Uh, page of Pentacles. Look at all the reversals. Um, you're not over it. You're not over it at all. Um, let's see if you or they cut it. Nine of Cups. You thought everything was great. This was a wish come true to be with this person. You were very happy. Um... You were very, um, this person was the person of your dreams. You were looking forward to building a future with this person. Pay it. Something very upsetting, some news. Did, did one of the spouses discover the affair? Um, and it stopped you or them from moving on? Um... But, but definitely some gossip going on here, um, some cruel words, uh, some cruel news, some bad news, some gossipy news. Queen of Wands, what the f This is my what the fuck were you thinking card. Um, one of you said, no, I can't do this. I'm stopping this. You guys were making a future together. You thought that this was the one and they stopped it. They stopped it. They said no, because you aren't the queen of wands. That's them. They all of a sudden they had integrity. Um, you know, so were you, 
you know, obviously you're married because this reading is for Capricorns who are married. Uh, maybe they said, no, I'm not busting up a marriage. Um, and it, and it, it really, really broke your heart. Um, your current spouse may know about it and that's where the justice reversed is coming in. And this has really, really, really upset, really cut, really cut you. Ten of cups. Look at that. Ten of cups on nine of cups. Um, you were sure this was the one. This is the person who you wanted to actually be with. Um, you were really happy to be in an affair with them. You really wanted to move forward with them and they cut it out and they said no. The emperor. You felt like you were on top of the world when you were with them. You felt like, yeah, I can't get over this. You thought this was the one. This was the one. You felt like you had it all. You two were unstoppable. You were the the be all and the end all as a couple. You could see being a very happy family with this person. Two cups, you felt like you were soulmates and you could very well be soulmates. Uh, but this person was not happy being the third wheel in this relationship. This person could have even been in their own relationship and wasn't willing to end it. But you are madly in love with this person. Um, you don't think there's anybody else better than this person. This person makes you feel complete. You feel stronger when you're with this person. You feel like you're on top of the world. Um, you feel like this is your soulmate. Eight of Swords. Um, you feel freer with this person. You feel free to be yourself. Um, Eight of Swords reverse. You feel free to be yourself. Um, Four of Swords. Yeah, this was dead in the water. This was dead in the water. This person ended it. This person also feels like your soulmates. Um, but they don't feel as needy as you do for some reason. Five of Cups. This was very disappointing for you. That they... Almost a depression. You're almost, you are, you're almost in a depression that this person broke it off with you. Um... You feel like this was the love of your life. You guys were meant to be together. And um, they cut it off. They, it was dead in the water. And now, now you're living in the past. You can't let go of this person. Um, ooh, three of cups. Yeah, you had an actual physical affair with this person. You felt like um, this person, like I said, you wanted to... To build a future with this person. Uh, this person pulled the plug on you. Um, and it, and you're really depressed that you are moving forward without them in your life. Um, I'm not getting a strong read what happened with your spouse or if your spouse even knows. But uh, you're definitely living with the consequences of it. Um But we got the uh, Three of Cups, the third person, and then, but we have the Three of Swords reversed. Um, so you may be healing. You may be healing, but you just really don't know how you're going to move forward with this person. Um, without this person, sorry. You don't know how you're going to move forward without this person. I can't read here if you are still with your spouse or not. I think you are. I'm actually thinking that the the justice, the the unfairness that you're living with, the one-sided that you're living with is more of your thoughts and your heart. Your your spouse might not even know about this person that this person broke your heart and that the person the spouse you're with right now 
um, you're actually in love with somebody else. So maybe even the spouse you're with right now, you've married after this went on. Um, and this person ended it with you and you went on to get married to somebody new, but you're still in love with an ex. That I think is what's going on here. Cause you're, I don't see, um, I don't see the spouse on here as much. And now you're living more in the past thinking that, you the you you are missing the love of a lifetime and because they cut it off maybe maybe they were the maybe they were already taken um uh, but anyways they cut it off and now you're thinking um that 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 was the love of a lifetime I don't really see an ending here for your marriage per se. I think the unfairness is that you will always forevermore think it was unfair that they left you. You will forever live in the past with that thinking that wasn't fair. You guys had it all. You had a great future ahead of you. Um, you felt like a million bucks when you were with them. Your soul mates, but something happened that they cut it off. And now... They set you free. At first you felt like a victim, but I don't think you feel like a victim anymore. You just, you're just really live with a lot of regrets, with, with depression, with despondency over it. I don't think your current spouse realizes. I don't think your current spouse realizes um, what this was. Yeah, I don't think they know. I, I don't see anywhere on the on the cards here that they know what went on. What's some advice we can give our Capricorn friends? Um, how to move on from this? I can just I can just really feel your despondency. Like, how do you move on from this? Um, so you can be happy with your current spouse, you know. That you can be happy with your current spouse. Okay. And noble your soul. Let's see what do we got here. We got an ace. So we got an A and we got a D. Oh, devils and angels. And we got a number 10 here. Okay. And noble your soul. So I think this means, um, like, if you look, the mask here is on the bottom like drop the mask or you can drop the mask and live a more noble life um even this queen of wands is like what the fuck are you doing you got somebody good you know go live with them go be happy with them quit crying about who said no um ennoble your soul so not enable ennoble your soul so deep down get over this person um get over this person deep down right and noble your soul um because your, your body mind and soul so your body is over this person and i think your mind is over this person because we have the three of swords reversed um so you've you've come to the conclusion that yeah, you aren't going to be together there. Maybe they've moved on and they're with somebody else. So that'll never happen. So now it's soul. So ennoble your soul. So maybe do some deep down soul searching work to get over this love affair. So you can actually love the person that you're married to right now, even more ennoble your soul. So body and mind, you've moved on from this person. Now your soul has to move on. Remember I talked that about soulmates. Um, and, uh, you've got to feel this way about your current spouse and, uh, um, do some soul searching about why you're still hooked on this person and, uh, not giving the same love and attention to the person who actually is there for you, who is your spouse, who has married you. All right. And noble your soul, do what's right for your marriage partner. Um, don't be the devil in that partner. Be the angel for that partner. Um, yeah, be love. You got the heart there. 
Let's see, let's get some timing cards. Oh, that's too many. Let's get some timing cards for our Capricorn. Let's get some timing cards for our Capri married Capricorn in love with someone else. Sorry, Capricorn, um, you're just gonna have to get over it. That person is not coming back. So you might as well um, be happy with what you've got um, because I think they love you a lot. So be the angel in that. Don't don't act, don't be the devil. Which is interesting because the devil card in um, tarot is actually the Capricorn card. Oh, they're really... I'm going to pull this one because this one wanted to be exposed faster than you think. And then we'll... Oh, so you can get over this faster than you think. Take one day at a time, one step at a time. You can do it. And racing against time. Um, oh, that's interesting. Racing against time. Um... Why would you take one day at a time, but racing it? Maybe that means take action now, faster than you think. I think it'll, it'll, uh, you'll fall out of love with this person faster than you think. Um, maybe, maybe your spouse is picking up on some energies from you. So you are racing against time um, in the sense that uh, they, they're feeling it. And uh, maybe they're starting to feel some distance for you and you need to climb these stairs to get back to them but it'll go faster than you think if you take it one day at a time, okay? Um, but do it quickly, don't don't wait another day to do this. Just start it today. Um, tonight when you go to bed, ask your angel, say tomorrow when I wake up, please may I love this person 1% less. And do that every every day and within, you'll be surprised how, how this fades away, okay? And it's sealed. Um, if this meant something to you, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, while you're here, have a look around, see the other messages I have for Capricorn. Thanks for watching and take good care.